there's no real big secret to gluing up pin blanks. It's actually pretty, pretty straightforward and pretty easy. You take your brass tube and the first thing you want to do is rough it up because it's actually very smooth and we're going to rub it on some sandpaper. And put a lot of nice little scratches in it. I don't know if you can see those or not. I hope you can. So let's go ahead and do the other two brass tubes. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to take a, a Q-tip. If you're going to use, I, I use Gorilla Glue. Okay, I really like the Gorilla Glue. Um, does a good job. It foams a little bit, but it, uh, it does a good job of holding the brass tubes inside of the wooden blanks. So, Gorilla Glue is activated with water. So, I'm going to take a Q-tip, dip it in a, a little bit of water, and I'm going to basically swab the inside of my blank. Get a little dampness, a little moisture in there. Then I'm going to take the Gorilla Glue and I'm going to put some on my brass tube and I'm not going to be stingy. I'm going to put a decent amount. All right. I take the pin from the end with the perpendicular line. That way I can seat my brass tube right at the edge of the pin. I use a, an in and out rotating motion as I insert the brass tube and what I'm hoping to do there is spread the glue as best as possible. And I'm just going to push it right just barely inside. Got a little bit, a lot of extra glue on there. It's dripping a little bit. Barely inside of the blank, I push the tube. And there's a little bit of a gap on the other end. It's hard to see, but you can kind of see where the brass tube is. So we're going to have plenty to trim off. Let me set this down before I make a huge mess. Let it dry. All right. Wipe the glue off the insertion tool. And let's go for the next brass tube. I use a lot of glue. Figure it's better to use too much and not have it come apart on the lathe than not to use enough. There's my perpendicular line, so this is the end. Well, and we needed to get a little bit of a little moisture in there. I got ahead of myself. Okay, there we go. All right, let me get that down in there so I can get the glue spread pretty far. You can see the glue already starting to foam on the end of that tube from the moisture. You got plenty of time. It, it, I let them sit 24 hours before they're to make sure they're good and uh, dry before I, the glue is good and dry before I try to turn them. So you got plenty of working time there. And boy, we're looking good on that one too. So there's blank number two. And let's get the last blank going here. Let's remember this time that we first want to swab the inside of the blank. You don't have to get it sop and wet. It's really just, you just need it damp. It doesn't take a lot of water to activate the glue. There we go. Now on this particular blank, it doesn't matter which end we go in because we've only got one blank for the pin, but we want to get it in there. It's kind of tight on that end, so let's see if we can go yeah, a little bit better on this end. Tell you what, there's a little bit of, um, here we go, a little bit of um, resistance there. Looks like there's some wood on the inside there that didn't get all the way cleaned out by the bit. That's where the insertion tool comes in handy. You can kind of adjust and work it right down in there. Looks like it looks good. I've, I can see the brass tube, but I have a little bit of wood on both ends, which will allow me to trim and adjust that out quite nicely. And that's all there is to gluing them up.